Ray Cop here from Paradise Pools and Spas again. Now we're moving on to the ozone generator. So we've already discussed in the first segment of why we use an ionizer on the pool, which takes place of chlorine or a salt chlorine generator. But now we're moving on to the oxygen uh, generator, which is taking place of your oxidizer or your shock. Um, so I'm going to come around here. I'm going to show you one thing first. If you notice, the handle is not cocked. It's right in line with the flow of the plumbing. The pump is running and the water is getting pushed through the pump, through the filter cavity, and through this plumbing and out through the return. If you look at the return, it's just a solid body of water right now coming out of the return. It's kind of hard to see because it's just solid water against water, right? So I mean, you can see the the flow of the water right there, but you can't really see it down there. So right now, even though the oxygen generator is on, um, the way to actually get the bubbles that are created inside here, the O3 molecule, if you want to get technical, um, how this, first let's start out with how it operates. Um, electricity is sent over to the unit just by a standard 120 volt plug. And as the cord comes in here, um, it comes up to little plates and I'm getting kind of, you know, technical with it and you probably don't want all this, but I'm going to go ahead and just tell you the little plates inside here receive the electricity and they give it an electromagnetic charge, which creates O3. So in here, once the O3 is created, well, how do you get it out of here now? So there's a little, um, valve stem inside this unit, um, and the way it draws off air inside this unit is when you force water into this gray pipe right here and run it through here, inside here there's a little pipe that sits inside there and it draws off the air that's created in here, the O3 molecule. Well, how do you do that? You've got to cock back this handle down here. And this is all written on this side, the side that I'm facing. You can see the directions on here, but I just want to kind of make a YouTube video to help everybody out. So with a brand new filter or clean filter um, in here, when I say clean, I mean no scaling inside the filter pleats, because if you have scaling inside the filter pleats, it's going to run slower. So basically, if you look on the top of your filter, you should only see 10 pounds of pressure or 15 pounds of pressure. If you only see that much on the gauge, then you're probably clean and good. Most times I tell people just start out with a brand new filter at the beginning of the year and then there's no guesswork. But anyway, so once you know that your filter is clean or you have a brand new filter in here and you see it at 10 pounds of pressure, 15 pounds of pressure, you are going to turn the system on, turn the pump on, the water's going to start flowing through here. And as that flows through here, you're going to have somebody watch about that water flow that I showed you up there. Watch as you start to cock this lever back right here. I'm going to have my uh, cameraman tell me <laughs> when he starts to see some bubbles appear. So I'm still cocking this. You see how I'm still moving this handle down here slowly until he tells me he sees some bubbles. Okay. He gave me the thumbs up and he sees some bubbles. So now you're actually implementing the O3 molecule in there again, taking place of the shock. So once you've cocked that handle right there, you think, okay, well, set it and forget it. No, that's not true. Because if the filter in here starts to become clogged over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, okay, the water is going to, that, that flow of water is going to be lessened. So if you have less flow coming through here, it doesn't have the same uh, viscosity. It doesn't have the same push. Okay. And if it doesn't push it through here at the same force, then what's going to happen is it's not going to create the suction needed to pull off of this hose to implement that O3 molecule. So you'll want to clean your filter or it may be time for a brand new filter. Um, but either way you would know, cause you're going to see that gauge go from 20 to 25 to 30 to 35 and just climb up. Okay, so you want to have that down at 10 or 15 pounds of pressure flowing through there. But that's it. Um, 
there's a green light on the bottom of this ozone generator. Um, it's at the very bottom. I've got to put my glasses on. But I can see it if I tilt this back. I can see it's green. Okay. And that doesn't hurt it. You can move this thing back and forth. Uh, this vinyl tubing allows it to move a little bit. But it's green. It's running. So we know we've got a row three molecule going in there. Um, as I explained in the first segment, if your ionizer is running, you know you're killing bacteria and algae. So with the two devices, you can clearly see you're going to need less chemicals. It's going to be better for the kids. Um, you don't have, you know, the dry skin. And you're just going to love our pools being crystal clear. So thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And uh, my name is Ray Kopp again for Paradise Pools and Spas.